I mean, I asked to say something first, which is interesting because I've heard a lot of the comments about what ails TV news. So before we start off with the with the fireside chat, I just thought we've heard so much of the problems and so much of what things are bad. And by the way, you know how long we've been hearing all of this stuff? 10 years, 15 years, a long time. I've also come here year after year and heard all the things that ail TV news. So I'm just going to talk a little bit. Five, six minutes, ten, and then I'm going to hand over to you. Um, what is the solution? What actually is the solution? Why did I leave TV news in 2016? I was along with Lupin and Rajdeep and Varka and many of us, we were part of the, the teams that set up television news in India, what is it, 30 years ago. And then I think about eight to nine years ago, it became crystal clear to me there are serious problems with television news. So editorship is actually not necessarily an effort to set up an alternative. It's actually a technological solution that may point a path for the future. It's work in progress. It is not going to be done by one company or one organization. But we are facing an inflection point right now in technology with what's happening with AI, what's happening with OTT, what's happening with with streaming and that inflection point can be used by all of us collectively and especially those of us who are what I've described here as news influencers try and make a change so we're not here complaining year after year after year as to what's wrong with television news and video news and why is everything going wrong let's try and find a solution so I'm just going to step back a minute and talk to you a little bit from a slightly different point of view what's Causing the problem, and how do you try and find the solution? First, what is the problem? Look, we know the issue with television users, right? It's a broken business model. We all know that. Yeah, we know TRPs. We know that there's no money in doing quality content. So you've got to put all of those boxes. We know that you're, you're paying carriage fees. We know that no subscription money is coming, and therefore you've got to do TRPs. And only way you get TRPs is to yell and scream and do sensational content, and there's no money to invest in good content. Now, we know this. We've known this for 10 years. Long time back, I used to believe that the secret was eventually going to be in digital, digital video news, new formats are going to come and that's what's going to drive it. It's one of the things that led me to set up NDTV.com in the year 2000. I said digital is going to be the solution in video. It's not happened. Till today, it has not happened. So we have a situation where TV, we know what the problems are. Digital video news is not yet the solution. If you look at the numbers that are coming, Problem is, you've got a, it, like, we know it, TV news, and we've heard it all morning long, I'm not going to repeat what the problems with TV news are. Let's just turn our attention a little bit to where digital video news is going wrong. The problem here is it's a flood. There's a flood of videos. It's coming to you on WhatsApp. It's coming to you on Facebook. It's coming to you on YouTube. You go to YouTube and say, oh, I want to see the news. How are you going to see the news? Finding the quality content that you need in a sea of information it's like standing under a waterfall and trying to drink. It's like being in the ocean and trying to get water. You can't do it. It's a flood that's coming to you. And that's the reason why digital video news has not taken off. That's the reason, right? It is a problem of curation. It's a problem of being able to provide adequate and proper curation. So you as a user or any user out there can get rated video in a form that is acceptable to them. This was a realization that came, I think, to me about six, seven years ago, one of the factors that led me to leave NDTV, leave television news and say, okay, let me try and now find the solution. And let me tell you very honestly what has been done so far and what has not yet been done so far, right? And this is, as I'm saying, frankly, a solution that I think all of us collectively, that's why I like coming to forums like this, talking where you have people like Bhupinath are sitting around here, so we can try and collectively find a solution to this. With the problem, first, which direction will the, prob will the solution be found? And I'm telling you my thought process on this, in the search for a solution, others may have other thought processes. I feel that in the television, in the video news business, I'm not going to call it TV news, in the video news business, we've got to find a solution in a manner that is inspired to some extent by the music industry. 
And I tell you why I'm saying this. Because music 10 years ago was facing a crisis very similar to what video news is facing today. And the parallels are almost exact. Television news is like radio. I've said this in other forums before. Television news is like radio. You've got to listen to whatever is being streamed to you. There's no personalization. There's no customization. There's a stream coming to you. You can watch it and if you don't like it, you change the channel. That's TV news and radio. Digital video news today is like cassettes and CDs. You can find the story that you want, but you've got to go searching for it. And the user experience is not correct. And by the way, if you're saying algorithms are going to give it to you, even that's not perfect because the algorithms are being guided by your click behavior. Lots of other details, which I'm sure we can discuss later, Shantanu, but this is a broad process. Now, music found an answer, right? Music found the answer to Spotify and Apple Music and other such formats. And what fundamentally is it that those formats are doing? Why is music solved the problem? It's because what a Spotify does it, it curates the 20, 30 million songs out there. Just as in the digital world today, you have 20, 30 million stories out there, all of them in short form. It curates it for you in a manner that is consumable. Number one, it curates it by algorithms. So AI. That's why it says, for you, music for you. This is the playlist that you will like. I'm customizing this and putting it forward for you. Number two, it does it through expert curation. Expert curation means these are the best 20 songs in the last week, top 70 songs of the 1970s, 30 best Bhangra songs for you to listen, etc., etc. That's number two. Number three, it allows people to build their own playlists and share them. That, in a sense, is where it becomes our not me creation, where it's through nobody. That's the Spotify solution. And in essence, what we have tried to build with Editorji for the last four years or five years was to find a better phrase of Spotify or video news and information. Right? So that essentially is what it is about. It is about how do you curate the flood of information in the stories and make them into a digestible package where people to observe and today if you were to open the app you would see there is a there is an ai news feed which is personalized and customized for you then there is expert curation that top 10 stories and xyz field and the third is now where it becomes exciting where the news influencers come into it which is actually the technology exists today and we built the technology we can allow anybody to create their own video news channel I tell you why this is important. That brings me to the topic out here. News influencers, when we are saying today that are news influencers more important than a television news organization, let me tell you, it's always been the case. News influencers, news personalities are the reasons why, especially in television, are the reasons why media houses have their power and their credibility. At the end of the day, if you just look into the speakers that you've, we've had so far today, people say, Mene Rajdeep Kaso dekha. I saw Barkha, Barkha saying this. I saw Ornab in an Ornab's show this happened. Bupin said X on his program. Bupin has called me for an interview. You know, something. Shreen Bhan has called me for her show. It is that anchor, influencer, personality driven association that has always been the power of video news and information. What has happened till today though? Where do media organizations get their power? Media organizations get their power because they control the pipeline to the user. And I'm going to just talk about this for a minute more. It's a really, really important point. Media organizations for a hundred years have been important and have been powerful because they say, Mare paas user hai. I control access to the users, right? I'm a print publication. I have so much circulation. I am a television news channel. I have so many TRPs. I'm a digital channel. I have so much Mao Dao, right? So many subscribers to my channel. I control the pipeline to the user. And you as an advertiser are coming to me and you are paying me rent for that pipeline. 
That's what advertising is today. They're charging you rent for access to that user. But here's where the inflection point is. This is why the entire game can be changed in the present environment. Because look around the world at you right now. Every pipeline business on this planet is under threat. Every pipeline business. Look at hotels. How many hotel rooms does Airbnb own? Airbnb is a platform, right? It's created a protocol by which people can engage with each other. It's a software, it's a protocol, there's interaction that's happening. And it's what Airbnb is doesn't own a single hotel room. How many cars does Uber own? Not a single one. How many restaurants does Zomato own? How many physical stores does Amazon own? Not a single one. In every case, you have got a set of protocols, a set of guidelines, a set of digital rules and regulations that operate, which people then use to interact with each other. And that is exactly what's going to be happening, I hope and I believe, with the media news business. And the day that happens, influencers will have the ability, people with credibility or non-credibility. If you're credible, fine, you'll have a way to interact with people who are credible. If you're not credible and you want to be something else, you'll have your own way of interacting. You will find a way to directly interact with the relevant audiences. And that is the way this business will eventually be fixed. So three years from now or four years from now, I hope when we come back to this, we are all not going to be sitting and complaining as to how bad things are. But hopefully we'll have found some answers and we'll have to found some solutions. Now, what's been done so far? Protocols have been built. We've got the technology ready. Built the company. I sold my company, the same company. Now there are big guys who are sitting looking at it and figuring out how are we going to scale it. Influencers have by and large been interested in saying, okay, how does it work? I'm going to have to spend a lot of time evangelizing this, you know, with people to say, this is what we need to do, guys. And the biggest question, how are you going to make money in all of this? How will the revenue flow? How will the revenue be shared? There's a lot of work to be done. It's not going to be easy to do. But we've heard a lot of despondency on how bad things are. I share that despondency. Things have been terrible. But I think we have an infection point right now where we can try and find a solution. Sorry, I spoke much longer than I should have. Please.